Hey everybody, you're watching Wine Obsession. Let's get some barrels today. Two months ago, I have ordered the brand new wine barrels for our winery and today is the day when they arrive. So while we're driving to the destination, let me tell you something more about the barrels themselves. The barrels are made of staves, which are long pieces of wood tightened together with hooks. This type of construction is well known for thousands of years. For example, an old Egyptian wall painting in the top of Hesi Ra, dating to 2600 BC, shows a wooden tubes made of staves bound together with wooden hoops and used for measuring corn. Another Egyptian wall painting dating to 1900 BC also shows the same type of tubes used for harvesting grapes. Also the Roman historian Pliny the Elder, you should do your Google research about him. This is interesting person, historian, philosopher. His work Natural history became the base model for the nowadays encyclopedias. So this guy reported that the barrels originated in Europe with the Gauls in the Alpine villages, where they stored their beverages in wooden casks bound with wooden hooks. Barrel aging is the cornerstone of the process called elevage which is the French term meaning raising, and it is used to describe the process between the fermentation and the bottling. The barrel aging may last for a few months to several years, during which time the wine flavors integrate and mature. The barrels are toasted over fire, either to light, medium, or dark toast level, and the different toast levels are giving different flavors. For example, a brand new barrel with light toast is going to give more vanilla and caramel notes while the darker toast level is going to give more uh, roastery and smoky aromas. In addition to adding oak flavors in the wine, the barrel aging changes the tannin structure in red wines. The tannins from the wood transfer to wine giving it st a stronger structure. During barrel aging, the natural properties of the wood allows for a gentle aeration into the wine to occur over a long period by penetration of the oxygen through the staves and reacting with the wine. This reaction aids in the polymerization of the tannins into a larger molecules, which are perceived into the palate as a softer and smoother in character. Despite their many types of oak, three are the main that are used for the wine barrels. Quercus alba is the one that is mostly grown in the United States and is known as American oak and the rest too, Quercus piatria and Quercus robur are mostly grown in Europe and known as French oak. Both French oak and American oak contribute to the wine tannin structure, flavors and aromas. French oak is much tighter grained and less dense than American oak and as such, it is able to provide more subtle flavors and silkier tannins. Since there is a significant difference on the impact between the American and the French oak, as a winemaker, I'm always using both of them. For example, I'm gonna set the same wine to age in American and in French oak. And I will set the same wine in different toast levels as well. At the end, I'm gonna receive different wines and this is why the uh, the winemaking profession is fascinating me because it is giving me a lot of opportunities. For example, uh, I will receive different wines and I can decide to bottle wine that is aged only in American oak barrel. And this is going to be wine that is with the American oak barrel profile. Also, I can decide to bottle wine that is aged only in French oak barrel. And this will be wine with the typical French oak barrel profile. And the most interesting part is the blending. So uh, by having different types of wine with different uh, profiles, I have basically limitless amount of options to blend the different wines with the different ratios to receive a unique product that fits my palate, that fits my desire, that fits my goal. So the barrels have finally arrived. They are in the truck behind me. So let's not waste more time and let's take a look at them. 
For this order, I have trusted the Radu Cooperage, which are well known with their quality. The Radu company is established in 1947 by Robert Radu, and since then they are producing high quality barrels. They source their oak from different forests in the center of France for their French oak barrels, and from Missouri in the United States for their American oak barrels. As you can see, the barrels came from the cooperage wrapped in stretch foil. Oak barrels are expensive too for the winemaker mainly for two reasons. First one is connected with the time needed to produce a wine barrel. Oak trees are typically 80 to 120 years old before harvesting for the production of barrels. After that the wood needs to dry for at least 24 to 36 months on open air. As general, one tree can provide enough wood for two barrels of 225 liters. So you can imagine how much time and what huge amount of wood is needed for the wine industry. This is why the oak forests need to be constantly replanted. The second reason is again connected with time but during the aging process. As I said, the aging can last for several months to several years and the same way the oxygen penetrates through the wood in reacting with wine, the wine evaporates through the wooden staves. The rate of evaporation depends on the conditions of the barrel room. The higher the temperature and lower the humidity will lead to high rate of evaporation. On another hand, the lower the temperature and the higher the humidity will lead to lower rate of evaporation but it will create good conditions for fungus and bacteria. So the key here is the same as all of the winemaking processes, the balance. Good rule of the thumb is to keep the temperature of about 15 Celsius degrees and 70% of humidity. The wood has the ability to expand upon moisture absorption. When the wood expands, it tightens the staves and the wine is not able to leak through the joints. The joints in a brand new barrel or barrel that was not moisturized for a long period of time will not be tight enough and wine will be able to leak. This is why there is a simple instruction for preparing the barrels for use. The cooperages are usually placing that instruction with each barrel or they are giving it to the customers. In our case the instructions came with the barrels. So let's take a look at the preparation methods. There are two main ways of preparing the barrels. The first one which I prefer takes more time but to me is more secure. All you need to do is to fill the barrel with water and leave it like that for 48 hours. For that time period, the wooden staves will absorb the moisture from the water and the barrel will be ready to use. The second way is when you don't have the time to wait for 48 hours, you need to fill 20 liters of preheated water in the barrel, rotate it so the hot water can touch every single stave empty the barrel and leave it to drain, then rinse it with fresh water and leave it to drain again. Now when we have our brand new barrels, it is time to prepare them and let the wine elevate its quality. I hope you find that video positive, I hope that you have learned something new today. Stay tuned, make sure to hit the subscribe button because a lot more content is about to come into our journey through the magic of wine. See you next time!